Hey, I'm Big Jeff from Big Jeff Online. I started all this out of the trunk of my car in Miami, Florida, selling security cameras and other things, and it grew into car audio, which has always been my passion. Always been my passion. Hey, it's Big Jeff coming to you once again with some unboxing. We're here again with some Black Diamond audio product. Uh, this is the DIA-1550.1. Um, as you can see here, maybe I got, uh, it is around October here. So whenever you're watching this video, uh, we got some uh, trick or treating going on. We have our Black Diamond uh, giveaways. Let's get right into this. Uh, Black Diamond, incredible brand. Uh, doing real well with it uh, very good priced product good quality our return rate uh, is very small so when people ask me hey big Jeff what's best what brand is best is this good it's hard to explain because it's a personal opinion but how I answer those questions on our end in the e-commerce and distribution world is returns and when we don't have product being returned uh, that tells me it is tough and people are happy with it so let's get into this unboxing we'll open her up you can see you get your manual and uh, keep in mind these manuals are printed uh, for multiple amplifiers so when you go through it make sure you're looking at the specs for the right amplifier uh, next thing I want you to notice uh, which is great especially in the shipping world you can see how this is packaged up uh, so even if this thing was dropped it's gonna take the abuse getting there uh, here we go with a face knob. So some of the amps did have a plastic face knob. I've heard some reviews, people are unhappy with that. Uh, this one here is metal. And also here uh, is a clipping monitor on the base knob. So uh, obviously Black Diamond, Big Jeff, we hear your comments and uh, that was one of them. So nice, small, uh, you can pretty much mount it anywhere. It's gonna use a telephone type cord. Keep in mind uh, on a lot of base knobs and wires, you have to use the correct one. Uh, we get it all the time. People order one from a massive audio sharp mouse and it doesn't work. Uh, it's because it's all about resistance. Uh, it can also actually injure or damage your amplifier. But here you get that. I'm gonna put that off to the side. Uh, in there is a pretty uh, decently long cord. I know that sounded kind of weird. Uh, but it should be able to make it uh, from the back to the front. Um, and as you can see here, it's just regular uh, telephone style cord. Uh, keep in mind, please use this cord. I don't think you're gonna have a problem if you replace this. The cord's not the issue, it's the base knob. These do match up with the amplifiers, so don't think you can just plug in one from another brand, unless it's a universal style and it's using RCAs, okay? Uh, then we'll go ahead and pull this amp out. Now, first thing I want you to notice, I have big hands, uh, and this amp is small in size. Uh, oh, so we're here to give you some screws. Let's go ahead and put this to the side. So the size of the amp, I mean, you could basically mount this anywhere, if it's a truck, if it's a car, uh, under the seat, on a wall, you can stack them together. Um, I love the size. Let's go ahead and open this up. There we go, that took a little bit. That was some super tape. Okay, so uh, first thing we notice on the amplifier, besides the size, you have a uh, nice black, I wouldn't, uh, I would say almost matte finish. Uh, you do have the black diamond logo. And again, I like it because it just doesn't uh, take away from your system, uh, but you can notice it if you're gonna light this up with some LED or what have you. Um, then we're gonna notice here, uh, we have fusing and it looks like uh, my eyes are getting bad and these are clear and it looks like 30 amp fuses, two of them. Pop that back in. This is a mono block, uh, so you have a positive and negative output and I'm gonna say that is uh, four gauge there is a power light 
and you're gonna have your ground, your power, and your remote turn on. We're gonna flip this over. Uh, cool right here. So you got your remote input. It does have a bass boost, a subsonic, and your low pass filter, which shows on here from 50 hertz to 250 hertz. And you are able to go to 0, 180 on the phase. Uh, and then you have your gain control. Here's an insight I always say, if you have to go past three quarters, you don't have enough power or you might be at the wrong ohm. Never ever want to max out a gain on an amplifier. All you're doing is putting distortion at that point. So uh, I like in my own vehicles not to go past halfway. So I need to supply enough power to do that. Uh, also, the other thing that could affect it is the RCA, the voltage. That basically tells the amp how to turn up. Think of it like a gas pedal. Uh, if you have a high voltage, you don't have to turn the volume up as high to get to that level. If you have low voltage, obviously you need to turn up. So make sure you are using, either if you have a new head unit, it has at least four volt output. Uh, if you're using a high to low adapter, spend the extra couple bucks, get like an audio control uh, that actually uh, will increase that voltage and clean it up for you. Uh, basically the cheap high to low adapters, when we sell tons of them, you can do the same thing by cutting an RCA and doing it that way. That's all they do unless it has some type of gain control. So we're gonna put this down. I just wanna go quick over the specs here. As I said, the manual is a manual for a few of the amplifiers. Let's go ahead and pull that out. And uh, when you open it up, first thing you wanna do is go to the correct amplifier. As you can see here, we have the 1150.2, 1250.4, 1850.4. Obviously, that's not this amplifier. When you go down here to the mono blocks, how do you know that? There's a 0.1 and then uh, some of them even say D. This is the 1500.1. So, uh, it is a mono block, but this is not a class D. That is why it doesn't have the D at the end. If you look at the manual, it is a AB mono block. So mono block meaning one block for your power and ground to your speakers. Some amps have two. That doesn't mean it's a left and right. It still means they are mono together internally. This one has one. It is an AB amplifier. So let's look at the ratings here. This is saying RMS output at two ohms is 350 watts. Um, so when you go to four ohms, you lose some at 220 watts. Always pay attention to the RMS ratings. I never pay attention to peaks. Peaks are on the best day possible with thousand volts or, uh, and we know everything runs on 12 volts. You might be able to get 13 out of your vehicle. And if you have upgraded from there, you might be able to get more. So always worry about the RMS rating. Um, let's go down here. I like this. We have a signal to noise ratio at uh, forum is 90 dB. Uh, the gain range is 0.2 to 5 volts. That's what we were talking about earlier, but how much voltage you're running through your uh, low pass input. Uh, so they're recommending no lower than 0.2. We can go up to six. So if you have a good aftermarket radio, that's four or five volts, great. If you're using a high to low adapter, uh, make sure you check that. And then the crossover range, we talked about that at 50 uh, for your low, which is low. Most people are not gonna set their sub amplifier that low. The uh, average is usually around 80 some people go a little bit higher if they want a little more of that uh, upper sub base uh, But we're gonna do this and I would recommend doing this at about 80 Hertz um, And then if you look here the frequency range 20 to 500 Hertz uh, Dimensions now this is what we were talking about um, Let me see if they convert this over for you Okay, great. So last thing I want to talk about is dimensions. I keep talking about the size uh, really cool. So this is only about 13.8 inches long and that's from screw hole to screw hole. The width is only 5.5 and then the height is an amazing 1.9. It's not even 2. inches. Um, this is a awesome size amp. Yeah, it's not the biggest of power, uh, but if you're running, you know, uh, some inexpensive uh, subwoofers, remember we can four ohm or two ohm. 
you can do a dual forum on this or you can do two single forums. Uh, pretty much you can go either way. Um, and for the size to get that, and I would call it clean power, um, this is a great product. This is Big Jeff coming to you on the unboxing video. You can get this at our BigJeffAudio.com website. Hey, this right now, and we're doing this of October 2022, is on the websites for $148.99. I'd love for you to subscribe. They'll put it here. There's buttons. Subscribe, leave your comments. Um, let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if you want to see other things in this unboxing or anything up here. We're trying to get as many videos as possible. I want to start doing some question and answers. You might even be able to do where we get you live with me doing it. So make sure you leave a comment, you share this video, you like it, let everybody know. I wouldn't be here without you. This is Big Jeff signing off.